hi in this video i'm going to show you how to fix the odbc error and be able to upload excel of versions higher than 2003 to your sql server system engine right so why do we have this challenge first let's try to understand what is happening here here is my excel file and we have over you know 350 382,000 rows of data okay and let me i've converted to tables so i'm just going to close it now save my changes and come back to my secret server i want to upload it i want to import it as you know a database i'm going to come to table or you know come to the database practice then go to task and come to import data i have to select the data source which is coming from microsoft excel by default is saying 97 to 2003 i'm going to browse to choose my file this is the then i'm going to click on ok all right you see it has discovered these are 20 2007 2010 either that or not i think that should be fine and click next here's the challenge the microsoft is oldbc you know 12 is just bringing this error it's not registered on local machine what if I change it to 2013? See, the version of that error keeps going. If I change it to 2016, the, the error keeps going. How about you know making it 2097 to 2003? You say no, the table is not in that format because it's not a 2003 or 97 uh, format. And the disadvantage, if I convert it to this format, I'm going to lose my data because the maximum rows 97 to 2003 version of Excel can hold is 65,535. And I have about 382,000 records of data. Obviously, there's no way to move everything. So how do we fix this error? Well, to get this fixed, you will have to go through. Let me just close this. You will have to come to this site. Yeah, come to this site and download Microsoft Access Database Engine. That is actually what is missing. 2016 redistributable. And um, just click on download. I have my download. In fact, I have to even cancel the recent one because it's downloading multiple times for me because I have downloaded it before. Once you have it done, down, when you are downloading this, okay, let, let's click on this download. Select the 32 bit version and not the 64. Well, okay, most of our system are 64, but the SQL engine and um, SSMS is, I think it's 32 uh, bit, so you need to use the 32 bit to, uh, you need to install the 32 bit. If you already have the 64 bit installed, you won't be able to even install the 32 bit, which I'm going to show us now. First, um, uh, but there's a way to, to work around it. I have tried the 64 bit, didn't work, it's the 32 that actually work. Okay, let's go to our download and try to install the 32 bit. Here, yeah, this is the 32 bit version, so I'm just going to double click to install it. Alright, you see, I get this error you cannot install the 32 bit version of Microsoft Access Database Engine because I currently have a 64 bit Office product installed. No, so, that is the challenge that you might face as well. So, how do we then still get ahead and install this? Okay, so I'm going to close and abort this. I'm going to abort it. Then I'm going to go to my, just make sure you find the directory, directory to your um, download folder. And okay, how do you get, if you don't know where to now to navigate and copy that, just right click here and go to properties. And there you can see this is the direct location. So just copy this location. I know the name of the file, just go to your CMD cmd first cd to this directory meaning you want to go straight to this directory all right so it's now in that directory the next thing to do is we want to run that executable file but making it quiet okay so i don't want to be typing this i'm just going to click here just so that i can copy this name okay come to c i've copied the name now just come back here i'm going to paste it add.exe is an executable file space backward slash and type quiet 
So meaning, yes, I know one is there, but quietly install this so that I can have access to what I need. I mean, that's the best way I can explain for no programmers. Make it, you know, have a quiet backend, you know, bypass some things and make sure you have this installed. So I'm just going to click on it. This way it's going to prompt me. I'm going to say yes. Fantastic. Now he's installing. Awesome. It's done installing. It's just going to prompt it for yes. And once you, you know, it's going to run some CMD prompt, you know, blank, blinking screen. And after that, you get back to this page. And that means it's done installing. All right. So for us to better enjoy this, let's let us uh, close a secret server so that I can pick that update and bring it up again. Yes, we are back now. I'm going to click on connect. Then I'm going to locate databases. Practice is my own database. That's the one I want to use. Then I'm going to right click, go to task, and go to import data. Select my data source, which is Excel. Microsoft Excel. See, we now have that asset that we installed now. Okay. Then Microsoft Excel. Browse the file is on my desktop, so and that is this Excel file, not this one. This is 2003 and Excel version. This is the one that we have. You know, by default, it has picked it as 2007 2010. Then click on next. Fantastic, you see, we don't have that error again. Then, where is the destination? My destination is this my SQL Server native client 11. That's where I'm saving that to. This is the server name. I'm using Windows authentication. The database I'm pushing to is practice, which is fine. And I'm going to click next. All right, then it takes me to this screen. Do I want to copy data from one or more tables of views, or I want to write a query to specify the data to transfer? I'm okay with copy. This the first option is okay. Then I'm going to click next. And right there, we can see this is the source, the exact file, this is the table there. And this is, you know, destination. I can rename this, like I said. Just to give it a schema and a name, so I'm going to call this cargo dot um, ins full cross cell. So this is the data now. It's the full one. I'm going to click next. Right? Do I want to run immediately, or I want to save as uh, SSIS? SSIS means uh, SQL Server Integration Service. Just more or less uh, creating a pipeline to. Uh, make that movement migration of data. I don't need that, so I'm just gonna click next or finish. You now, next takes me here and finish takes me to this point where all those actions start running. The actual migration has started now, as you can see. Uh, depending on your machine speed, I my system is a bit slow this morning, it should be faster than this. But I'm gonna see it speed up soon. Awesome. It has migrated all our data, 382,154 rows. Fantastic. So I can click on close. And of course, I can refresh by right clicking here and say um, refresh to refresh my database so that it can capture the new tables now. I click on table. Right here, I can see my table. Ins full cross cell. And I can actually select uh, top 1000 row. Fantastic. That's what I have here. But let's check, you know, if we have. Let me just copy this guy. Come back here. Let's check if we have select. I want to count everything from this guy. So how many rows do we have? Just select here and let's execute. Oh, 382,154. Fantastic. So. This is how we've been able to address that. We need to install that version and 32 bit of it. You might not be able to install it directly, so you have to, you know, use the CMD to CD directly to where you have it downloaded. Then write the name of that executable file. Remember to put the dot .xex and leave a space backward slash. Then you know, type quiet. Thank you and bye for now.